I'm John, building under the name Brain Freeze Custom, and this is my shed built 1998 Harley Davidson Sportster. So, Dan at the Bike Sheds, I've uh, been following this online just from starting off building um, and asked me to come down to show it when it's finished, and it's finally finished. All Brain Freeze is, is just me and my partner decided to go freelance. Uh, we're graphic designers and we wanted just to do a bit of bike building, a bit of graphic design, furniture design, all the fun things rolled into one. It started off as my commuter bike and I rode it pretty much two hours every day around London for about two years and it got an absolute beating, it was falling apart, electrics were shot, chrome was peeling off everywhere and uh, I was spending more time fixing it um, than actually riding it. One day in the garage I started fixing it again and had a bit of a moment and just ripped it all apart, took everything off apart from the front wheel, the forks, the engine and the frame and then the frame was chopped. New bit built on the end, not by me, I don't trust my uh, welding to do that quite yet. Then I sat down and designed how I wanted it to look. So going front to back, Avon tyres front and back. As I said, it's a standard shocks on there. Everything else is new or new to me. Basically borrowed and blagged as much as I possibly could. Like these risers, about a fiver. And this headlight, although it just looks like a regular headlight, that took me about a day to get into it and put a little uh, high and low beam into it just to clean up the handlebars. Onto the handlebars got little momentary push switches because this is still going to be my commuter bike so it's got to have indicators and everything and tiny little LED strip indicators around uh, the forks just to keep them nice and hidden. All braided uh, sort of old school looking wire everywhere and onto the engine that's probably the bit that I spent the most time sorting out because it was knackered. Uh, the chrome was peeling off and it was all dirty and coughing and sputtering all the time. So I took it all apart, rebuilt the top end, changed all the gas dits, gave it a good clean. Got the chrome stripped off all the casing down here and then spent about two days polishing up all the aluminium underneath by hand. So it's got a kind of rough look and that you need to keep it oiled all the time cut down the cam case because this is usually comes out quite big on the Sportster. So cut that down right up as close as I could get it to the gasket and the front pulley as well, the, the uh, guard on this. Just cut this down and drill some holes just to make it look kind of cool and uh, <laughs> kept the stock rear master cylinder on there. I like the way it looks and the other ones are well expensive. <laughs> and I really like this nice bug eye air cleaner on here as well and the uh, filter here which is dripping a nice bit of oil at the moment. I've drew up the um, pipes and then got someone better welding than me to do it um, and kept them uh, raw looking so you can see all the nice welds on it and kept a nice and short and sticking out. Changed it to chain drive push button starter on it so I could take that starter off the front. It's just a little bit dodgy when you're stalling uh, and having to put your hand right down by the chain but you kind of work out a little technique for it. Spent quite a bit of time working on the electrics of this and I know it's that's the part that quite a lot of people don't enjoy but I really quite enjoy doing that, it gets quite nerdy um, and I built this little battery box and because it was still my commuter and I wanted to keep indicators and everything in, it's a small box but I've crammed everything in there like a little flasher unit, all the fuses, all the connections and everything and a tiny little mini lithium battery so I'm really proud of that even though you can't see it. The paintwork, this is one thing that I'll probably never do again, it was the hardest, most horrible job that I've had to do. Um, and I really just don't enjoy it. So that's one thing that I'm just gonna go straight to powder coating. But it's all right, I like the way it's turned out, but don't get too close to it because you'll see like the rough around the edges. Tank is from America. It's from Casey from uh, HTC Customs. He gets some nice little bits over from America and got our brain freeze family boy, um, Ryan Swamp Baron on the illustration here. And the seat is from Barry at Skate Interiors. It's a nice little lip that Arson's put in there, which is pretty comfy when you're sitting on the back as well. Surprisingly comfy. Set for your feet pretty high up, these little clip-ons here. I really like the rear mug guard or fender, depending where you're from. It's super tight, so the back tire, another Avon tire, 
on a wheel that's from Casey as well in America. Nice fat spoked. And if you look at it from the back, it's super, super slim. And I've got the uh, rear light and um, number plate all on the back, so there's nothing sticking out on the sides, keeping it all quite minimal and slim line. And the sissy bar matching the top of this, so it all kind of works in one nice little line. Trying to get it all kind of looking like it flows nicely. And putting these pipes in it, I thought it was going to be stupidly kind of embarrassingly loud, but it actually worked out quite nicely. It took quite a lot of rejetting uh, of the carb to sort it all out and get it working nicely, but um, it's got quite a nice purring sound, I think, but have a listen.